Welcome to the Minecraft Education Edition Interaction Tutorial. You don't have to be an expert in Minecraft to be able to lead a Minecraft lesson in the classroom, and learning how to interact with levers, doors, gates, buttons and chests will give you a better understanding of Minecraft and the confidence to play, create and learn. So get your mouse and keyboard ready and let's begin. To begin this tutorial we can see a large introduction board and a text hint. Right click the button to begin. The button is a small grey shaped box on the gold block. Move towards it and while aiming your cursor at it, right click it with your mouse. If it didn't work the first time then perhaps you're too far away. Try moving closer and right clicking again. Remember to aim your cursor by moving your mouse towards the object you want to interact with. Right clicking the button makes the wall disappear and we can move on to the next stage. Walk towards the nine blocks, each with a button on them. Aim at the button on the gold block and right click. Pop! <laughs> and it disappears. Now aim and right click the buttons on each of the gold blocks. Wonderful! The next room has a barrier and a lever. Levers, like buttons, can activate things, but can be toggled on and off, like this. Open, close, open, close, open... Uh, okay, okay, let's move on. Open the rest of the barriers and make your way to the next room. Here we find a door. Wooden doors can be opened and closed by right-clicking them. Have a go and then move on to the corridor of doors. Minecraft wooden doors come in a range of styles and when placed together they open in a double door fashion. The next door is a little different. This is an iron door and requires power to open it. A lever is perfect for this job. It can be toggled on and off. The next obstacle challenge has some fences and gates to open. Like doors, simply right clicking a gate is all that you need to do to open it. Gates are smaller though, so make sure you aim your cursor at the gate when you right click it. An open gate can be closed by right clicking the gap between the two halves of the gate. You might also see a black outline when you're close enough to interact with the gate. Have a go at opening and closing gates and when you're ready, move on to the next obstacle. This is a wooden trap door and to get past, you guessed it, we right click it. The next trapdoor is made of iron, and like the iron door it requires power. Right click the lever to toggle the power on and move through. This room contains a chest. Chests are great for storing items and treasure, so move towards it and right click it. This opens up a new interface. At the top of this interface are the contents of the chest, and below is our inventory, which is empty. So let's grab all that lovely shiny loot. When you're in the chest interface, you cannot move using your keyboard and your mouse no longer tracks where you look. This allows you to move items from a chest to your inventory. To do this, left click a stack of items in the chest with your mouse and cursor. This picks them up and then left click an empty slot in your inventory to put them down. Go grab the rest. For a top tip, if you press shift and left click an item or a stack of items in a chest, they will automatically be zoomed into your inventory. This makes things a lot quicker. To close the chest and come out of the interface, click the cross in the upper right corner or press the escape key. Now that we've filled our pockets with gold and diamonds, the next room has opened and we can see an NPC character standing there. Even if you have an item in your hand, you can still right click NPCs. We will explore the hotbar and items in a later video, so don't worry too much about holding things just yet. Right clicking this NPC opens an interface and we see a little balloon dialog box. Hello, I'm an NPC, a non-player character that can provide dialog or instructions as well as different options. Try clicking the buttons below to see some of the different things I can do. When you close this dialog by clicking a button below or hitting the cross in the corner, the next gate will open. Congratulations, you've completed the lesson. If you want to try it again, right click the button just outside the door. Otherwise, why not go for an explore around the courtyard 
is full of different interactive elements. Remember, have fun pushing those buttons. <laughs>